You and I are created by God to be used in a certain way, to live in a certain way and not another. And there are other ways in which we can live, especially in the context of our human sexuality, in which we actually cause serious harm. Biology matters. We are made physically, spiritually, and psychologically male and female. The differences are real, and the differences matter. The differences do not make one better than the other. What God has done is he's created differences so that we learn that we need each other. That's how God has done this. This is God's plan. Our differences make us necessary for each other. And then this mysterious divine union occurs. And by the time we get to the New Testament church, the Apostle Paul is saying things like, this is how a marriage should work because we're speaking of the mystery of Christ and his church. God's done something amazing in how he's created us male and female. So friends, listen, every promise of gender fluidity or alternative expressions of sexuality are hollow. They're hollow promises. <clears throat> Our feelings may confuse us sometimes and cause us pain, but our identity in Jesus Christ is deeper than that. It's stronger than that. Anybody who has walked out of a destructive lifestyle, anybody who's been saved out of a lifestyle that was leading them to the grave will tell you, I am so thankful that Jesus saved my soul. <laughs> 